In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the alarm volume from this into this. Actually, it's a one-time permanent solution. So please don't skip any part. It's a complete detailed video. Actually, I'm going to show you the only way to reduce the alarm sound. I think there is no any other way. Even you can't lower the alarm volume using GarageBand app. Okay, first open your PC or laptop. Then open Google Chrome. And type Pixabay. Search. Open this first link. Here switch this to sound effect. Now type iPhone sound. Search. Then you can see the sound effect 040359 alarm sound. Just click this download button. Now it's downloaded to file explorer. Now open a new tab and type audacity. Search. Then click this first link. Audacity is a free audio editing software. Here you can download for Windows 32 bit and 64 bit. This is for Mac and this is for Linux. For me it's Windows. So I click this. Yeah. Now it starts downloading. Now it's completed. Now open another new tab and type iTunes download. Search. Then open this first link. iTunes is a free Apple software. If you already have installed iTunes, skip this step. Then scroll down a little bit. Here you can download iTunes for Windows 32 bit. And this is for Windows 64 bit. This one for Mac and older versions. You can also download these versions. For me, I choose this Windows 64 bit. Just tap download. Yeah. Now it starts downloading. It's completed now. Now open File Explorer. Download. Yeah. Here you can see the three downloaded files. Okay. Now just install this Audacity software. It's just a simple few clicks. If you want a step by step installation video, watch this. Link in the description. Okay. After you installed Audacity, go to File Explorer. Then drag and drop the downloaded alarm sound on this Audacity. Okay, now press the control button on keyboard and use mouse scroller to expand or shorten the view of the audio file. Okay, it's fit for me. Now click this left arrow, then the cursor moved to the start point. On the top, you can see the timings. And below this 4 second time, press left mouse click and drag to the left side like this. Then tap delete key on the keyboard. Ok. Now click this to play the audio. And this 16 second to 17 second portion was unnecessary. So click and drag to the end. Then tap delete on keyboard. Ok. If you want to increase or decrease the volume a little bit, move the cursor to here. Then click here. Or double click on your mouse to select all. Then click effect. Under volume and compression, you can see this option amplify. Click that. This amplification dB was in positive number. It will increase the audio volume. If it's in negative number, the volume will be decreased. Zero is the center point. I mean it's your actual audio volume. For now, we are going to increase the volume a little bit. So I move this to plus 2.5 decibels. Then click apply. Let's play this. Yeah, the volume was increased a little bit. I feel this portion was little bit more volume. Not that much, but a little bit more. Okay. To reduce volume on this particular portion, select and drag from 11 seconds to 16 seconds. Then effects, volume and compression, amplify. Here move this cursor to negative numbers. Let's reduce this to minus 2.5 dB. Apply. Yeah. 
Now this portion sound was reduced to a little bit. And same process for to increase the sound on a particular portion. Only thing there you need to move the cursor to positive numbers like plus 2.5 dB or plus 5 dB like that. That's it. Okay, now export this audio file. Click here. Then click file. Export. And click on export as WAV. Here type the file name. I type low alarm. Then here you can choose the path. I leave it for default. Then click this to create a new folder. Double click to open this. Then click save. That's it. Now it's saved to the file explorer. Let's close the Audacity software. Yeah. This is the new folder. Here is the low sound audio file. Now finally install iTunes software. Just click OK OK. That's it. Or watch the step by step video. Link in the description. Ok, after you install the iTunes, take your iPhone and lightning cable and connect this large end to the PC or laptop and this small end to your iPhone. And if it promote trust and passcode, just accept and enter the passcode. Then you will see this little phone icon. If you didn't see that, just flip your iPhone small end charging cable. Then click on this. Scroll down. Here make sure these first two options were selected. If not, select these two options and then click apply. Then click file. And click on add folder to library. Now select the edited audio. It's on download section. New folder. Then click select folder. Now click these two music. And here make sure the sync option was ticked and entire music library was also selected. Then finally click sync. Now it's completed. Done. Yeah, if it appears here, then the audio file was transferred to your iPhone Apple Music. Let's check that. Open Apple Music. Switch this to library. Yeah, now it's successfully transferred. Finally, let's hit the alarm sound. Now open the clock app. Let's set a new alarm. Click the plus icon. Then tap sound. Then under songs, you can see this option. Here directly you can see the low sound. If it doesn't show here, just tap pick a song. Now click the low alarm. Again click here. Yeah. Now it's added. Now just click back. I set the alarm time after one minute. Okay. 8.14 pm. Then click save. Let's see. Ringer was full. You can see here. Yeah. It works amazing. Actually using this way you can increase or decrease the alarm sound as per your wish. Hmm. I hope this video helps you. If it really helps means leave a like and share this video with your friends and neighbors. Thanks for watching.